Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is uh, 5 o'clock on Saturday. We're celebrating Vespers for the fifth Sunday of Great Lent, commemorating St. Mary of Egypt. And so you'll be hearing, in addition to the text for the resurrection tonight, also text uh, for St. Mary of Egypt, uh, whose memory we keep tomorrow. God bless and be with you. Thank you for joining us. Please pray together with us. God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon you. God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon you. God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon you. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters. Who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You cover to the deep as with a garment the water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bow which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst by them, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, or to make his face shine and breath to strengthen man's heart. The trees the Lord have watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, and then the birds build their nests to stork as a home in the fir trees. High mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest beat forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom, have you made them all? <clears throat> the earth is full of your creatures, yonder is a sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great, they have other ships in Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. It is all up to you to give them their food in due season, when you give to them, they gather it up, when you open your hand, they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are dismayed, when you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works who looks on the earth, and it trembles with touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan teacon, locum tenants of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priest and the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life by through Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in Him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in Him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Salvation belongs to the Lord, your blessing be upon your people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, glory to Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. For you 
yours are the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense, Christ of God, Lord, Holy Spirit, you bring me to the Father. In the fourth throne, Lord, I call upon you here. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord, let my prayer arise in your sight as you. And let the lifting off of my hands be anything sacrifice. Hear me, oh Lord. Praise, O oh Lord, praise, and I make your thanks to your name. We, we glorify your resurrection on the third day, O Christ God, by always honoring your life, creating cross. By it you have renewed the corrupted nature of man, O Almighty One. By it you have renewed our entrance to heaven, for you are good and the lover of man. The branches will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. You loose the tree's verdict of disobedience, O Savior. By being voluntarily nailed to the tree of the cross, by descending to hell, O Almighty God, you broke the bonds of death. Therefore we adore your resurrection from the dead, singing in joy. Glory to you, O all-powerful Lord. Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. You smashed the gates of hell, O Lord, and by your death you demolished the kingdom of death. You delivered the race of men from corruption, granting the world life in corruption and great mercy. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Come, O people, let us sing of the Savior's resurrection on the third day. By it we have been freed from the unbreakable bonds of hell. By it we have received life and incorruption. Save us by your resurrection. Life creating and almighty Savior, glory to you. If you all watch and mock iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. Angels and men sing of your resurrection on the third day, O Savior. By it the ends of the earth have been illumined. By it we have been delivered from bondage to the enemy. Save us by your resurrection, O life creating and almighty Savior, glory to you. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord, my soul has waited for your word, my soul has hoped on the Lord. You have shattered the gates of brass and destroyed the chains of death, O Christ God. You have raised the fallen human race. O Lord, risen from the dead, glory to you. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch of Israel, hope on the Lord. O Lord, your begetting from the Father is timeless and everlasting. Your incarnation from the Virgin is beyond words and understanding. Your descent into hell is terrible for the devil and his angels. You have trampled on death, rising on the third day, and granting men in corruption and great mercy. In the sixth stone, for with the Lord there is mercy, with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. You stood before the doors of the church, polluted with evil and unable to enter, accused by your own conscience, O wise one of God. 
You converted to a better way of life, looking upon the icon of the Blessed Mother of God. You condemned all your past sins, O Mother Mary, and went to bow before the precious cross. Having worshipped at the holy places with great joy, you received saving grace for your journey of virtue. You set out in haste to follow the narrow path, crossing the river Jordan, and going to live where the Baptists had dwelt. Through self-denial you tamed the savagery of the passions. Through violence you broke the rebellion of your flesh, taking the kingdom of God by force. For his mercies confirmed the last of truth, the Lord endures forever. You lived alone in the wilderness, and as you erased the images of sin from your soul, God marked it with the imprint of holiness, filled with the Spirit, O Blessed Mother. You walked on the surface of the waters. By your prayers you ascend from earth to heaven. <coughs> Since you stand before Christ, O glorious Mary, and treat him with boldness to save our souls. In the fourth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The power of your cross has worked a wonder, O Christ. Through it a harlot became a champion of the ascetic life. She cast aside her weakness and bravely brought the devil. And having won the prize of victory, she ceaselessly prays for our souls. In the same tone, now and ever, not to ages of ages, amen. The prophet David was a father of the Lord, through you a virgin. He foretold in songs the one who worked wonders in you. At your right hand stood the queen, your mother the mediatrix of light. Since God was freely born of her without a father, he wanted to renew his fallen image, make corrupt in passion. So he took the lost sheep upon his shoulder and brought it to his father, joining it to the heavenly powers. Christ, who has great and rich mercy, has saved the world of the old Some light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of the evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and giver of life. Therefore, all the world glorifies you. Let us attend in peace be unto all. Wisdom, the evening, Prochemonon is in the sixth tone. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. <laughs> the Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. For 
he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. His throne is established from of old. He is from everlasting. The Lord is keeping his robe in majesty. The floods have lifted up. O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their roaring. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Mightier than the thunder of many waters. Mightier than the waves of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us, O God, according to your goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teacon, all companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the orthodoxy part of this life before us, especially Joseph on the 40th day of his repose, together with the mighty Archpriest Basil, the Archpriest Vladimir and Antonio, the servants of God, Diane, Jamie, Roseanne, Rachel, and Lynn, and you hear and in all the world by a sleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the mitered archpriest Michael, the priest John, the priest Stephen, Matushka, Natasha, Anastasia, Cynthia, Elizabeth, Delphia, Mara, and Virginia, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, Natalie, Catherine, Elena, Lloyd, Matthew, Alexander, and for those suffering from the coronavirus, Miriam, Lauren, Frank, Sarah, Yvonne, and the infant Sophia, and for the pardon mm. and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and loved mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. 
Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come on. Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. And praise and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, O despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy, that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful God, to guard your our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, amen. <coughs> blameless and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, Look upon your servants and upon your inheritance, for to you, the awesome judge, he yet loves mankind. Have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By ascending the cross, O Lord, you have annulled our ancestral curse. By descending to hell, you have freed the eternal prisoners, granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs, we glorify your sight, creating and saving resurrection. The Lord is King, is right in majesty. By hanging upon the tree, O only powerful Lord, you shook all of creation. 
By being laid in the tomb, you have raised those who dwelt in the tombs, granting life and incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs, we glorify your rising on the third day. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. The lawless people, O Christ, handed you over to Pilate, condemned to be crucified, thus proving themselves ungrateful before their benefactor. But voluntarily you endured burial, rising by your own power on the third day as God, granting us life everlasting and great mercy. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. With tears the women reached your tomb, searching for you but not finding you. They wept with wailing and lamented, Woe to us, our Savior, King of all, how were you stolen? What place can hold your life-bearing body? An angel replied to them, Do not weep, but go and proclaim that the Lord is risen, granting us joy as the only compassionate one. In the second tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a sword of abstinence, you cut down the corrupt desires of your soul and the passions of your flesh. With the silence of the wilderness, you strangled your sinful words and thoughts. You watered the desert with the streams of your tears and made the fruits of repentance to grow for us. We celebrate your memory, O Holy One. Now and ever in the same tone, now and ever in the ages of ages, amen. A new miracle surpasses all ancient miracles. Who knows of a mother who gave birth without a man, who carried in her arms her Creator, this birth is the will of God, since you carried him as an infant in your arms, O most pure one, and since you possess motherly boldness before him. Do not cease praying for us who honor you, that he may be bountiful and save our souls. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, all light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Open to me the doors of repentance, O light giver. For my spirit rises early to pray toward thy holy temple. Bearing the temple of my body all defiled, but in your compassion, purify me by the loving kindness of your mercy. Pass of salvation, O Mother of God, for I have profaned my soul with shameful sins, and have wasted my life in laziness. But by your intercessions, deliver me from all impurity. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, 
And according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my transgressions. <clears throat> when I think of the many evil things I have done, wretch that I am, I tremble at the fearful day of judgment. But trusting in your loving kindness, <clears throat> like David, I cry to you, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, O God, according to your God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. When the wind in the sign blows up the wood, learn from the angel the joyous message of your resurrection. They cast away the ancestral curse. And belatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, Granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The image of God was truly preserved in you, O Mother. For you took up the cross and followed Christ. By so doing, you taught us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away. But to care instead for the soul, for it is immortal. Therefore, your spirit, O Holy Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For our sake you were born of the Virgin, and in the crucifixion, O good one, and destroying death by death, revealing the resurrection, as God do not despise the work of your hands. Reveal your love for man, O merciful one, and accept the Theotokos praying for us. And save the despairing people, O oh, our Savior, wisdom. Father, bless. Christ our God, <clears throat> existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O oh God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, your brother, and your hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father blessed, may he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy Christ, the long apostles of our fathers and mothers among the saints, Saint Mary of Egypt, whose memory we celebrate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. God bless and keep you, brothers and sisters. We look forward to gathering for the Divine Liturgy tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Have a peaceful evening as you prepare for the Divine Liturgy.